In this video, we're going to take a look at page breaks in Word 2016. A page break is simply an indication to Word that you want whatever follows from that point to begin at the top of a brand new page. So, in this case, we're going to uh, take our Alice in Wonderland document here and we're right uh, at the beginning. Actually, we've got a title page up above, but we're at the beginning of the actual text in the document. And I want, uh, starting with this paragraph, uh, to be pushed down to the beginning of the next page. So I need to tell Word, either at the end of this paragraph or at the beginning of this paragraph, that it's time to go down to a new page. And the best way to do that is to put the cursor right there to the left at the of the text that you want to begin the new page. And I'll show you why that's the best way to do it. If we go to the end of the previous paragraph, uh, we're one character uh, to the left of right here, and the, the character that we're to the left of is that paragraph mark. And if we put a page break to the left of the paragraph mark, well then the paragraph mark is going to get pushed down too, and there'll be a blank line at the top of the new page. Let's try it and see. Let's go to the Layout tab up here, and it's under Breaks, and Page Break. Okay. And so I go down to the new page, and that paragraph that I wanted to push down is there. Uh, but the paragraph mark above it is also there. Now I can delete that. I'm just going to hit the delete key here. And now it looks pretty much the way I want it to look. Uh, but I did get that extra character in there. And if you scroll back up and take a look at uh, the page we started on, um, this page break indicator shows up here. And the reason it shows up is because if you go back to your home tab here and uh, go to the paragraph group in and, and the upper right hand corner here, we've got this show hide button. Uh, that just looks like a paragraph mark and that will show you uh, paragraph marks, it'll show you spaces. If you look at my document here you can see I've, I've got the little raised dots wherever there's a space. Uh, it'll show you tab characters and it'll show you other stuff like this that you might happen to insert into a document like uh, a page break. Uh, this is just a single character. If I'm sitting here at the end of it and I hit the left arrow um, it goes all the way to the other side of it. So it's not, you know, a bunch of text that says page break. It's just Word's way of telling you that there's a page break character there. And you can delete it just like any other character. So I can go to the left here and I can hit the delete key if I'm on the left side or I can go to the right side here. And if I'm on the right side I need to hit the backspace key and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now I'm back to basically where I started with my document. And I'm going to try it the other way. I'm going to go to the left of the letter T. I'm going to go to my Layout tab. And I'm going to go to Breaks. And I'm going to click on Page. And now, that is the very first thing at the beginning of the new page. If you take a look at my uh, ruler over here on the side, there's my one inch margin. And right across, right below that one inch margin is where the text begins. And if I scroll back up, um, you see the page break up here is after the paragraph mark and it does put an extra paragraph mark in there for you. So if you do choose to delete this page break you will have an extra paragraph mark that you'll have to delete as well. Okay, uh, Let's undo that and now we're back to where we started and uh, I'm going to show you a, a shortcut. I like keyboard shortcuts and a fast way of doing a page break is, and it's pretty easy to remember too, um, you hit the enter key at the end of a paragraph and we're going to do control enter to do a page break. So I'm going to hold the control key down and hit enter right now. And it pushed this down to the beginning of a new page. And there's my page break, just as if I had gone up to the layout tab and chosen a page break. Okay. Now, if you are in your print layout view, which is what you're going to be in most of the time, um, when you do a page break like that, you can end up with an awful lot of white space. And you can actually have you know, a whole screen here where you can't see anything at all. Uh, if you'd rather not see that, uh, what you need to do is go between the pages here and it actually tells you to double click. So I'm going to double click there and apparently I did not double click fast enough. So let's try that again. Double click and that one must have worked. Okay, so it basically, you still see a line where the page, the top of the paper and the bottom of the paper are going to be, but it does not show you all of that extra stuff in between. So you may prefer that if you want to see more of your document at one time. And another option to see more of your document at one time is just go from your print layout view to your web layout view. And now you can see a whole bunch of stuff on the screen and um, you don't have to collapse the white space. Uh, it'll do that 
for you okay let's go back to print layout and so now I want to get this back again just take the mouse uh, go back here and when you get that two-headed arrow uh, if you double click again and I must be too slow today so let's try it again okay so there it is and now I can see everything okay one other thing uh, just on this uh, collapsing the white space here. I'm going to try this again, see if I can get it the first time this time. And I cannot. So, Okay, so the white space is still there. And to prove it to you, we're going to go to our File tab and we're going to do a Print Preview. And if we do a Print Preview here, we're going to see that the document still has all of the white space in it. Okay, now I happen to be on that page 3 which was where we pushed the text down so I'm going to back up here and we see page 1 and page 2 now and so all the white space is still there which tells you let's go back here to our document uh, which tells you that it's just hiding the white space from you. it's not actually getting rid of the white space so uh, it's still there it's just this option is just there to make it easier for you to let's try to double click there and get it back and it's not working okay so there we go so the white space is always there it's just uh, is not showing it to you so it can show you more of your document. And we'll look at some other breaks in uh, some other videos.